Hey, this is John Murray. And probably one of the best questions I get over the years is how do I go from being a co-angler in a tournament to be on a pro side? How do I how do I make that transition? And you know, that's a transition that you know some guys have made very easily, and some's taken it's guys can't do it. So really what I always say is, you know, most co-anglers have a boat. And before you enter it, you know, go ahead and go as a pro side, you need to become intimately familiar with your boat and with your electronics and your trolling motor and everything that happens in that boat because that's your office. You have to, you know, catching fish is, is a tremendous part of bass tournaments, but knowing your boat, knowing your equipment, being able to run it all, that's what makes a guy a pro. That's, that's the guys that know everything about. They know their electronics, what they're capable of. I use Garmin electronics and I spend hours just, just studying them, learning what things are, um, you know, using the different features that we have on them. And that's very important today's bass fishing. Uh, catching bass, that's the final process. So once you get out there as a pro, you got to learn to find them and then learn how to catch them. And then once you find them and, and, and learn a technique, catching them, put them in the boat, weighing them in, that's the easy part. Then, then, then that's all gravy. So the problem is getting to that point where you're comfortable with your boat, comfortable with going out and finding fish on a new lake, and then the techniques that will catch those fish. So right now, you know, when I started, there wasn't a lot of techniques. You didn't have to know a lot. But now you gotta, you gotta study a lot of different techniques, a lot of different baits, um, and, and a lot of the aspects of electronics fishing. And, and those are the things that I would work on. I would work on the boat, understanding all that, understanding all the baits and the techniques you have, and then locating fish based on seasonal patterns, stuff like that. That is, those are the process you need to go from a co-angler just sitting in the back catching a fish that someone else showed you, to going out, being a pro, figuring all that stuff out. Once you do that, sky's the limit. Fish don't know who's up there. So if you can put those efforts in, you can become a professional fisherman.